receive a definition of any word by tapping with three fingers on the trackpad. Click on the definition to receive more information or click on the Wikipedia part to receive some documents from Wikipedia. In order for this feature to work, you do need to enable it in System Preferences. Tap Trackpad. Select Point and Click. And then enable Lookup. Now you're all set! You can delete apps on your Mac just like you do on your iOS device. Hold down an icon when it begins to jiggle, delete it. In previous versions of Mac OS X, there was a status bar at the bottom of each finder window. Lion got rid of it. To re-enable it, go to View and select Show Status Bar. Now you can see the remaining hard drive space and change the icon size. With Line, you don't have to replace or rename a folder. You can simply merge them. Drag and drop a folder into the same destination and select Merge. The contents of the two folders will be merged into one. In the Applications folder, you can organize your apps by category. To do so, click on the gear and select Arrange by and select Application Category. Now your applications are organized by category, and it's way easier to browse. With Line, you can no longer save a file as due to versions, but there is a way to duplicate it. Select File and select Duplicate. It's basically the same function as Save As. Lion features new iOS style scroll bars, but some people might not find them useful. In System Preferences, select General. Under Show Scroll Bars, select Always. And now, scroll bars will appear. In Mission Control, you can get a larger preview of each window by hitting the space bar. This feature is available in all versions of Mac OS X. Hold down Shift while you do commands to see them in slow motion. It's actually really cool.